What's going on everybody? It's Childish, we're back at the game, coming at you with another dislike video. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my current Chronos team that has allowed me to get up into Chronos 10. I haven't cleared it yet, but we are getting really, really close. That being said though, fam, we're gonna have a fun run here in Chronos 8 because you know why? I just don't want to sit here and manually right now. I wanna go and auto it, let you guys see it in action, not stress too much about it. Uh, that being said though, fam, we're gonna take a look at the units right away. Uh, I wanna show you guys what I'm currently working on and some uh, a couple of sleeper units that I feel like would be good if you don't have a specific uh, support that I utilize in this situation. Um, but yeah, overall, as far as my team comp go, I'm basically set up uh, with two damage dealers, one controller, and two support. There's a lot of different combinations that you can utilize for your Chronos team here, but for me, that's worked out pretty good and I've had a lot of success with it. So as you guys might have guessed, my two damage dealers are gonna be Ling Ling, and of course, Lin Zhao. I know that Lin Zhao is an epic, uh, epic hero here. This is not one that everyone's gonna pull lightly here, but again, I'm just showing the current team that I got here. Uh, yeah, that's this is what we're currently working with, okay? So Ling Ling, you guys can get them right, free to play unit. If you decide to reroll them and keep on going till you get them, you'll have them. Fantastic unit, it's gonna be really, really good unit in, in more places than one. So if you got this one, build this one up, uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, Relic wise, just utilizing a basic attack set on this one, nothing too crazy. Um, do have a couple of uh, six star relics that I'm gonna slap on here, but uh, money's a little low right now, so just utilizing what I got, and and ultimately I just want to go ahead and show you what you're what I'm working with right now, so you guys can know, you know, what your stats kind of need to be as far as you know getting clears in that kind of range here. Uh, as far as Ling Zhao goes, we have her on our uh, Hades set. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Uh, again, we come. I think it's a five star Hades set that comes through the uh, quest line that you get. You can obtain so. Again, uh, multiple reasons why to utilize this one, but I think the biggest thing of this one is just uh, you know keep this unit uh, nice and healed up here, just in case my healers don't have that uh, support. Because as you guys know, if you haven't taken a look at the Chrono stage, um, you know we can take a look at the skills uh, when we get there. Uh, one of the biggest things that happens when it comes to uh, Chronos' AOE is that you know it does this big AOE and then does even more damage on a unit uh, and potentially sums them. But the crazy thing about it is that if he gets that kill, he gets a bonus turn, to even even doing uh, a little bit more damage. Um, and then on top of that, when his HP gets low, the scaling of his damage gets even higher, right? And again, I'm getting a little too far ahead of myself. I apologize in advance, but uh, and that's that's the thing of it. it. Basically, he will take full advantage of your team if they are not sitting with a decent amount of HP. That's why, uh, you know, going double support is pretty good. Uh, even going, if you're not going to controller, even going to defender in that last spot there um, to just help out, you know, mitigate some damage or provide a little bit more support, that's good as well, okay? Getting back to it, right? Two damage dealers are gonna be Ling Ling, Ling Zhao. Uh, my current controller is TA. Why are we using this one? Uh, because of the fact that it's one of the best controllers in the game, one of the best attack property players in the game, has the best speed lead in the game. Without question, we gotta go with it, right? So if you guys didn't see this one here, uh, this skill here, AOE ability, that's going to be essentially redistributing 30% of the target's HP equally among your teammates. So we have this ability to essentially push our units over, you know, push our units through, while the other units that it's uh, hitting up is gonna be reducing those uh, attack bars here, right? Second skill here, AOE damage, stun, great for the waves to kind of clear on through, but ultimately, the reason why to use this one is because we got that nice little attack bar manipulation here to allow my team to get a whole lot more turns and of course, uh, take advantage of this uh, first skill ability here, absorbing uh, a little bit more of that HP here. That's the, th that's the thing about this particular dungeon. Um, taking an advantage of anything that slows the unit, that steals the attack bar, super important so it doesn't get too many too many attacks on you over time, okay? Uh, so, big, big free-to-play unit that a lot of people are using, Changpu here. Why is this one so good? Uh, again, this is one of the first, I think, um, immunity, uh, sorry, not immunity, I mean, yeah, immunity for, for free-to-play units for a three-star, but also uh, one of the first units that I found that had a, had essentially double double healing, right? Um, so, two two heals, which, of course, the second skill being the, the AOE healing ability here, um, really, really nice, again, uh, you know, provides a base amount of HP, uh, plus a little bit more on the attacker. So having a little bit of tax up stats on this one's really good. Uh, and then ultimately when you get a descended, uh, capped out there, you're going to have that immunity for two turns, which helps. So you don't have to deal with the stuns per se. Okay. So those are the four units that were made, you know, we've been mainly right now. We've used it to kind of crush all the PVE content thus far. Uh, and then, like I said before, the previous video, we took a look at the, uh, the tier list here and try to figure out which one do we want to use. Uh, for that last spot here. And ultimately, I went with, Fre uh, or I guess, Era uh, for this one here. And again, you know, considering the fact that we talked about the whole aspect of like reducing the attack bars, slowing the opponent down and whatnot here, I thought this was a really good candidate for this one. So I went ahead and take advantage of this. Now, I believe this is the one 
that is available to you for uh, 99 cents if you want to spend a buck on this game. But again, it's something that you can summon. So if you if you if you happy to get it, this could be an option for you. So this one here, and we speed down with the attack bar manipulation by 30 percent, which is great. This here, I'm probably a little underrated if you haven't checked it out here. Uh, brings him brings a man. I can't pronounce it here. Brising the men's like yeah, watch 50 percent attack bar bonus to the team at the end of each teammate's turn here. So again, both two ways of manipulating the attack bar there. Really, really nice. And then last but not least here, we do have uh, the 50% chance of granting the speed buff uh, speed buff uh, for 30% here. So very, very nice. Very, very nice. Again, that's really going to help out considering all the attack property depletion that we got between TA, between, of course, Ling Ling and whatnot. So really, really nice. It speeds up the, the amount of turns that I get along the way. So I'm definitely down. Now, I will say this. Um, just some alternatives that we're throwing out, obviously, uh, you know, Helena, if you got it, I know that a lot of people criticize Helena, but it is a free-to-play here. Nonetheless, it does provide a little bit of support if you want to go the damage route. Um, I did see a unit that uh, kind of shocked me here. I don't know if I summoned this or if this was part of a quest here, but this is one of those that got me really excited. So, uh, Berenice, um, this one here provides a shield uh, that's based on the HP for two turns, but if the ally is buffed, then it gets uh, extra 30% shield strength. So, the reason why I say this is that this is one of those support units that um, is going to work well with other support units that have different types of uh, beneficial effects that you can take advantage of. So for me, being the guy that does have uh, Chang Pu, and a lot of you guys are going to have Chang Pu, once you get a descendant, you get that immunity here, you're going to be able to take full advantage of this unit here because you've got that ability that allows you to essentially get a little bit bonus shield strength to keep your guys alive here. Of course, not only that, the reason why I was looking, taking a look at her because uh, we have this ability right here that also provides uh, a little bit of attack bar manipulation on it. And then, of course, last but not least, one of the things that always gets overlooked when it comes to uh, specific units, the ability to provide like really important uh, debuffs on skill one here, right? Because obviously, you guys, you already know, we got three skills here. Some of these are going to be on cooldown. So when it's on cooldown, what kind of value can we get from that skill one? This one being a defense down, reducing the defense by 6%. I think this is a really good candidate. Again, um, in this particular situation, I went for the unit that's going to provide the speed uh, decrease as well as the attack bar manipulation because I'm looking to use that particular composition in a lot more uh, a lot more situations. And I feel like I'm going to get a little bit more value as of right now with that specific uh, comp because uh, composition that I made here. So now... Let's go ahead and get the run in again. Not gonna, not gonna stress out too much about this. Just gonna do a number eight, Chronos eight here, and I'm I'm running the speed lead again. I'm gonna just take full value out of this. Uh, it's so funny. Like I kid you not, guys. This video I was trying to make like I couldn't make it 30 minutes ago. I wanted to make it 30 minutes ago, and um, and I uh, <laughs> I couldn't do it because I ran out of energy. Yeah, I, I'm one of those people that since I'm a little bit behind when it comes to. Uh, my current account, my overall knowledge, whatnot. I'm trying to get as much experience as possible. So I, yes, I have been using my gems to refill my energy. I know it's not good value. Uh, don't hate me for that. But uh, uh, yeah, I just, I, I wanted to keep on farming and, and uh, try to see what I can get here. But yeah, as far as the last few days go, we've been living, um, you know, in, like I said, Chrono 7, Chrono 8. I've been really, really happy with Chrono 8 because Chrono 8 is the first dungeon that opens up the opportunity to get uh, the six star uh, relics here. So again, super, super important. Obviously, when you get these relics here, um, it's going to take, you know, uh, is you know, they're not going to be the perfect ones here. They might have the right, you know, the wrong primary stats or whatnot for the ones that go on the bottom. But ultimately, uh, you're going to get these uh, relics, decent relics to, you know, uh, replace the other ones that you have because of the fact that if you guys have known, like you do a run and sometimes you don't just get one relic, you'll get multiple relics as well. So it's really, really cool. Again, a lot of value to be had here. The Even the XP that you can gain from this one. Is pretty pretty decent here. And I would even make the argument to, unless you're actively farming for gold or whatnot here, that maybe dungeon farming is uh, is more than likely the way to go because you still get decent ESP. You obviously get you know multiple pieces of gear that you can sell for gold and whatnot. So yeah, I, I don't think it's too bad at all. It's too bad at all. But as you can see, pretty straightforward here. We're leading out for their attack bar manipulation. We're bringing in our uh, Lings out to go ahead and provide the. Uh, stuns and defense breaks, and then we have our AOE damage here, so do work here and get the job done. But overall, guys, that's pretty much it for my Chronos team. Once again, uh, the link is going to be in the description down below for that tier list if you didn't get a chance to check it out already. Um, feel free to use that uh, to your advantage. Take a look at some of the units that you could be had. Again, not just focusing on the units that might be specific for Chronos, but units that you can use for Chronos 
as well as other uh, aspects of the game, okay? That's going to be it, fam. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish and Childish Twice. Check it out. Take care, and we'll see you all in the next one. I'm out.